September 16th, the following video went viral. The first thing I want to know is exactly what happened that day. And also, is uh, your defendant still in custody? He is still in custody right now. I anticipate uh, having a bond hearing for him this coming Wednesday. Okay. What, are, what are his charges? He has a serious charge. He's charged with murder and conspiracy to commit murder. However, I would remind you and I would remind everyone uh, that uh, he maintains his innocence as both a matter of fact and as a matter of law. Of course, he enjoys the presumption of innocence now and especially when he was taken into custody and, and beaten in the face. Okay. How old is he? He is 17 years old. Oh. So he is he being charged as an adult? Are they charging him as an adult? Well, uh, I, we don't know that yet. None of that is none of that has um, been determined uh, as of yet. Um, he was just taken into custody uh, when you saw that last week. And so uh, those are some of the things that will be determined as we have his upcoming court dates beginning next week. Do you know if he's being held in a juvenile facility while he's there or is there so a, he, is there an area? He's being held with juveniles at an adult facility. Uh, his bond will be set fairly high, um, probably a half a million dollar bond. And of course, he won't be able to make that bond, but it's not necessarily designed for him to be able to make the bond. Um, and then we will have a preliminary hearing uh, sometime over the next two weeks. Uh, and depending on what comes out of the preliminary hearing, uh, I expect that his bond will be, will be lowered significantly uh, thereafter. And I, I would say this, I practice uh, in this central uh, Mississippi community very often. And I have had cases that have been, uh, where charges have been brought specifically by uh, the uh, police department that has uh, brought the charges against this young man. And I have had situations to where charges are brought, but nothing ever comes of it. And you have your preliminary hearing. For those who don't know, a preliminary hearing is a process through which uh, it's kind of like a mini trial. You're not found guilty or not guilty, but you do have the opportunity to put officers and investigators and witnesses on the stand and find out what information they have uh, about, about the accusations that have been made. And so I've had situations where we get through that process and we find out uh, that uh, the officers or the investigators really don't have as much evidence as you would think that they would need to have to effectuate uh, an arrest. And sometimes they have these strategies to where if something happens in a neighborhood or a community, they may put out a warrant uh, uh, for, for everyone within a group of people. You know, you have these cliques and things like that, and they may arrest everyone and charge everyone. And their strategy is to kind of put the squeeze on these people uh, and have them to start pointing the finger and so that they can find out what really happened. Right. And so I just, I would, very much emphasize that he maintains his innocence. Uh, and, and if what uh, my investigation has revealed so far uh, turns out to be accurate, I expect that he would be uh, vindicated of these charges. I wouldn't be surprised if this were another one of those situations uh, to where we find out at the preliminary hearing uh, that he just happens to be associated with some people who they believe uh, have something to do with a certain crime and they are looking to, to, to put pressure on him uh, to tell what he may know about it, uh, but that doesn't equate to his guilt or involvement in said crime. What do you, are there, are, do you plan on uh, filing a lawsuit? Yes, uh, that is something that I have one of my associates working on, uh, actually even today, she's been working on it diligently all weekend, uh, and we do plan to file that lawsuit as early as tomorrow, uh, but no later than Tuesday, uh, and I have also been in touch uh, with National Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump, uh, who will also be joining us uh, in representing this young man uh, in the action uh, against the U.S. Marshals and whatever other agencies uh, were involved in this arrest. Is there a way that the lawsuit would affect the criminal case at all? No, these would be two totally separate cases. Uh, and and we Not being behind the scenes, behind the scenes. <laughs> well, that's actually a very good question. Um, I would hope not, right? But right. You know, I work with law enforcement a lot. 
I, I come in contact with law enforcement a lot and I, I am very familiar with kind of the way that they move. And so if they have uh, put themselves in this type of position, would it surprise me if they were to, uh, I guess, try to, to, to uh, tarnish this kid's image some uh, by, by releasing certain information or, or by um, kind of just coming down harder on him if they can because they- Because the less innocent he looks, of course, the more reasonable it was for the man to do that, for the marshal to do that, which it's not acceptable. Well, I'm trained, not acceptable. I, I mean, that's still exactly, that's still unacceptable, but to the untrained eye and to the type of, um, to the type of audience that they would cater to, that's the kind of stuff that they would want to know and would want to hear to overlook something like this. Right. Um, so it should not have an effect, um, but you know we'll just have to move forward and, and, and see, but I am keeping a watchful eye uh, for any type of, 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 of uh, behavior or antics from uh, law enforcement uh, that I think uh, is disingenuous, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I'd be quick to call them out on that. Uh, but the facts are what the facts are and they, maybe can manipulate the facts, which is something that they often do, uh, but I am, I am I'm very sharp uh, and I have my finger on the pulse of this in every case that I work on. And so if there are any type of irregularities or anything that is remotely fishy, uh, I will call them out on them in a, in a very public fashion. I certainly will follow up with you on Wednesday and, um, and from there I will also uh, keep you abreast of, of what happens uh, during and after our preliminary hearing, which is which is the most important pretrial uh, step uh, towards justice, to me in in, in, in any case, um, and I, I'm going to have a full fledged hearing. Uh, I will call my witnesses; they'll have their officers there to testify, and I'm really going to grill them on 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 what reasons they have uh, to suspect uh, that this young man has been involved in any type of of, of criminal activity. And um, I will likely have a recording of that uh, preliminary hearing event, and I will share that with you all. Okay, great. Thank you so much again for your time. As of this post, there still hasn't been any disciplinary action taken against the marshal for what appears to be a clear violation of Lee's rights.